Hi, it's Red Snapper, and welcome to the Showgirl's Closet. Today, we're going to visit two pairs of shoes that are probably going to make it into the Goodwill pile, unless I just keep them for shooting. They are attempts at shoes that I used for my California Sunset Act. I debuted the act at Cult Swim, which I believe was on my birthday, February 7th, 2015. It was a Spy Kitten May Lust production. On Adult Swim, they have interstitials, these little weird bits in between things. So I didn't have a specific act that related to an Adult Swim piece. So I got to take this act to the stage and be an interstitial and I had cult swim written on my butt for the whole thing and that's how it tied together. The act is a tribute to the beauty of California. Also the drop acid or smoke a whole lot of devil's lettuce I think is the right term that was connected to the music that my parents used to listen to. So it's very, you know, hippie, sexy, interpreted kind of weird stuff. I mean, the music was actually pretty mainstream that I used, but it was a different time. So the act was choreographed by Jewel of Denial. She was my go-to for a number of things and a lot of, you'll see some of the same kind of movements, you know, in, in the act. I love performing the act. I have a jumpsuit with pockets, which is so fantastic. And I do some veil work. That's fun. And then I've got some boa work and rolling on the ground. And I love doing the act. And it used to have tall shoes. So we'll take a look at the tall shoes. And I had other shoes before these shoes that I sent back. I was ordering shoes on Amazon looking for the perfect shoes. Okay. We will start with these glorious, glorious shoes. These are eye candy shoes and they have a very high platform in them. So while they may seem incredibly high, a lot of it is the platform. So if you look in the shoe, like the shoe actually, I think it has an inch and a half platform. The shoes, you know, this deep. So it's not as crazy as you would think. This is like the bottom of the shoe itself. And then all of this is platform high heel, but the heel is actually, you know, maybe here legitimately because you've got a platform in here. I used to do pole dancing and I was used to wearing higher shoes. I still have a very small foot. My foot is like eight to eight and a quarter inches somewhere in there. It's very small and high heels. There's not a lot left on the ground. My act is very choreographed. Lots of movement, you know, flowing, spinning. It's hard to spin in buddy slippers, but you know, three step turns. And I thought these shoes should work for that until I take the jumpsuit off. And then it gets to be a little more hippy dippy. And that is not what actually worked for me. Here's the other shoe. So I'm going to try on these shoes and then I'll move to the other shoes and then I'll show you how things wound up. So looking at the turns in this, so I had like a step behind pivot kind of turn. I'm on carpet right now and I can grab the walls. I was not on carpet or where I could grab the walls when I'd perform the act. And I'd have to be able to do all this step ball change stuff in these shoes in a very steady fashion, but, and I could walk, I used to be able to walk really, really well in heels. My balance has changed as I've aged, but there's still not a lot of foot <laughs> on the ground itself. I do have most of the ball of my foot. The front of these shoes though, it's like a 
toe pick kind of situation at rock. So it's not flat all the way down, I guess, to make it look, you know, more appealing. I don't know. It's not my favorite thing in the world. But I performed in these shoes at least once, maybe twice. So then I switched to some other shoes that didn't have the same kind of platform. Look at how tall I am. I'm so tall on the shoes. <laughs> and then I stepped down. I could almost look Mr. Snapper in the eyes. These were the shoes I switched to. I thought, oh, I need to skip the platform and the front that rocks like it's got a weird toe pick situation. We'll change into these other shoes. We'll buy these Nine West shoes that I was able to buy in the store. I think it has maybe a half inch, or three quarter inch platform, not much. And these are sevens so that they were easy to get off. You can see the bottom of the shoe has some grip on it already. So I didn't have to do anything special there. So I went the, with the gold glittery shoes. I thought these will work because they're lower to the ground. I think they have the same rise in them, but I'll put these on and you can see how these look. They're a bit easier to put on than the others. But I don't look as tall and towering. Still not really built for pivot turns. Let's see. Do, do. Not so much. Not, not the best for me for pivot turns. They're not as tall, but a little bit easier to work in. Just a little bit. And they don't have that crazy rock thing happening on the front. So I went with these for a bit and they got stuck when I was trying to take them off on stage in Las Vegas when I performed at Brunch Lask. I did the act and I just couldn't, I couldn't take the steps the size I wanted to and I couldn't take the shoes off easily and I was like this stinks so <laughs> I ditched the shoes again so instead of the tall shoes I went with these dance shoes neoprene half sole and I know I've talked about don't rhinestone things unless people should look at your feet but I wear these now when I do the act so I am basically barefoot the entire time. They've got a little grippy on them. These are also, I can walk like this on stages that are gross and my feet don't get really, really grubby. I don't like having dirty feet. There's a, a reason that I wear shoes all the time at home, even if they're slippers. So these, like they're cute, it looks like I'm intentionally barefoot and I can do the moves a lot easier. I can, you know, and I can cover a lot more space, do turns across the stage with something that is designed for being <laughs> on the ground and danced in, not so much these other shoes. I may keep the shoes for modeling purposes because they look pretty hot but I'm not necessarily going to stand in them or if I have to walk downstairs to get to a location for modeling I'm not wearing them down the stairs I wear crocs or tennis shoes and then I'll put them on when it's time to shoot but there you go there's the story of my two pairs of golden shoes thanks for watching bye